live from the MGM Grand Convention Center in Las Vegas, Nevada. It's The Q at Splunk.com 2014. Brought to you by headline sponsor, Splunk. Here are your hosts, Jeff Kelly and Jeff Frick. Hey, welcome back everyone. I'm Jeff Frick. You're watching theCUBE. We're at the Splunk.conf uh, user, user conference, their fifth consecutive one. There's over 4,000 people here at the MGM Grand in Las Vegas. Splunkers and partners and customers and soon to be customers learning uh, all about Splunk, real world applications. And we're here for our third year. We love coming to this show because we get more customers on than any other show. But for this segment, we're actually going to go back to, uh, to a great Splunk executive and talk about a hot topic. Security. So I'm joined in this with my co-host, Jeff Kelly. I'm Jeff Kelly from Wikibon, and joining us is Haiyan Song, who's the SVP of Security Markets at Splunk. Welcome to theCUBE. Thank you. Thanks for joining us. So yeah, security's been a big theme here at the show. Um, a lot of the customers we've talked to, they're using Splunk to support their uh, security operations. Tell us a little bit about your role uh, at Splunk and, and the, you know, the importance of security uh, to your customers. All right. Well, um, I'm really excited to be at this conference. It's my first one, and just the energy and, and the focus and the interest they have in security is just phenomenal. Mm. And uh, so my role is um, I'm responsible for leading the mission of the security business at Splunk. Uh, as uh, Goffrey talked about um, along the way that we started forming the market group, and that's really aimed to bring the focus, the leadership, and the enablement for the company to go and help our customers to solve their security challenges. Mm -hmm. And so I'm basically the person who tried to bring a lot of this together and leverage the vast resources we have uh, in our ecosystem mm -hmm. and uh, enabling really the whole ecosystem to help protect the enterprises and our nation. So you know, we've heard you know, Splunk's strategy around, you know, Splunk is a, is a platform um, building applications, but also allowing their customers to build applications. Yep. And it sounds like Splunk focuses on, when you're going to build a set suite of applications, you focus on those core areas where you can really add value. It sounds like security is one of those areas. Yeah, security is probably one of the leading uh, solution areas, mm -hmm. uh, in addition to what we have been doing for years in IT ops and, and uh, application management. Um, you talked about Splunk being a platform and people building applications. I think we're also at the stage that for the security world, Splunk also want to be a platform for people to build security applications mm -hmm. on top of that. So we're really elevating the level of the platform and providing a specific set of framework and capabilities for people to start building things on top of that mm -hmm. to solve compliance, to solve fraud issues. And uh, we're going to continue to focus on that, but we want a whole ecosystem to build more and more of that solution. Well, it's interesting that you know, Splunk did not start out with a security focus per se, but it's clearly become one of the killer applications. How, yeah. can, you, can you talk about how that kind of evolved? Was it your customers, did it start with your customers adapting Splunk to these use cases, or did Splunk recognize maybe ahead of the curve that this is an area we need to focus on? I, I think you know, we credit the early sort of entry into security to our customers. Uh, they basically, the power of a platform and the power of to be able to make the data accessible to the customers, I think is a testament why our customers can get so creative and innovative. And uh, you got all the logs and you use for troubleshooting, oh well, we need compliance, so let's just do that. And once they do compliance, they say, well, we got all logs and you can do alert, how about we start alerting for some of the incidents? So I think they definitely pulled us into this uh, but we also should give credit to the founders and they actually had worked with partners and who initially started building solutions mm -hmm. uh, for security, even though we were a little hesitating to be categorized as a security uh, solution too early. I think that was brilliant, but we definitely have, the eyes have set and we acquired some of the technology that's actually part of ES right now. Mm -hmm. Um, and in the last three years, I think it's really a combination of where the company is saying we are established as a platform and we really need to elevate the value we deliver to the customer and security is a natural fit because the customer are using them and we're disrupting the market 
and we're doing in such a way that is really bringing more of the capabilities into the platform to drive the adoption as well. Mm -hmm. Well, it's interesting because Godfrey mentioned in his keynote yesterday how it, you know, kind of going back and forth with Gartner, please don't put us in your yeah. same magic quadrant. Yeah. Um, and I'm guessing the reason for that was that you didn't want to be pigeonholed as a point solution for security right. when you have a wider breadth of capabilities. Yeah. Um, that said, as we talked about, and as you just explained, security right. is one of those killer applications. Right. Maybe could you uh, articulate Splunk's approach to security versus some of the other more traditional methods we've seen in that SIM marketplace? Okay. How does how does Splunk do a difference? Is this purely around the analytics versus a more reporting style well, approach yeah. from the other the quote, providers? The quote, Godfrey's quote was, security should be an analytics problem, right. not a monitoring not, challenge. Yeah. But, you know, that's clearly the philosophy. You could dig into that a little bit. That's, sure, I thought that happy. was a great, a great line. Be very happy to do that. Um, I think the angle to think about that. I, yesterday in my uh, keynote, I also talked about. If you look at the stats about 229 days and two out of three have been reported by a third party, it fundamentally tells us what's out there is not effective yet. Right, 229 days, you can do so much damage <laughs> to your organization, so we got to make them faster. And what's happening in the industry, I think is, people realize that the threat is happening at a much faster speed than how we can respond. I think Mark Graff basically alluded to, to that in his keynote, is the speed that they are innovating and attacking us versus how fast we can deliver solutions is not in the same order of magnitude. It's not in the same ballpark. Um, so that really has given the rise of what we call the analytic, analytics-driven security. Mm -hmm. It's more, it's not because I, I'm advocating you don't need monitoring anymore. I think monitoring, alerting, all of those is actually becoming more commoditized. Everybody mm -hmm. have that capability. That's table stakes. That's table that. stakes and that's the foundation. Everybody should have it. And to say analytics-driven security is not to minimize the value of that. It's more how you can actually becoming, staying ahead of the game versus always responding to something. You know, you talked about being proactive and being predictive and, and all sort of coming out of the reactive mode. Right. So I think the state, how Splunk is different is really fundamentally Everybody can get to the data. Everybody can get threat intelligence. Everybody can find a way to enrich those things with context. That's not new. Everybody can do alerting. I think what we're really uniquely positioned and re uniquely offering the customer is we design the software around people. We think we give you the power of visualizing your data, understanding the dynamic relationships of the data, and using your expertise to make the best decisions. Once you're able to make that determination, there's ways for you to automate that. So it's not about doing everything by human, but it's leveraging the best of human and the technology to do this. I think that's really the secret sauce. And that's why we're getting all this support and the love and, and uh, you can probably feel the energy around this conference. So it, yeah. it really shows the commitment that Splunk has to security, one, by putting you in the, in the position that you are, you know, dedicated to this topic. The fact that you've got a keynote just on security, which uh, we weren't able to live stream last year, we did live stream it this year, so I suggest if you haven't watched it, watch it. Uh, it's a little scary, I got to say, you know, it's, it's uh, you know, you don't necessarily always want to lift up the carpet and see what's under there, but the reality is, it's a lot of bad stuff going on. and so. You know, Mark really highlighted on what's going on. He highlighted that the, the threat is continuing to grow. It's, it's continuing to get more sophisticated. Um, so I wonder if you could you know, touch on, on some of the high points of your keynote and his keynote for the folks that weren't able to see it because, it's, again, it was a little bit scary. He, he closed with a, a really powerful statement, but I um, wonder if you can dig in a little deeper. Perfect. Um, I can't tell you how many people come up to me after Mark's keynote and said, oh my God, this is the best keynote I've heard about security. And uh, there's actually a couple of different reactions to it. You know, you talked about just feeling scary. And um, you know, when I finished that, I said, I feel really proud that how far we have come along. And I get really inspired because he was able to really elevate 
that whole conversation to a totally different level, right? It's a mission, it's a mission at this nation level. It's not just protecting our enterprise or protecting our lives. It's, okay, this is the challenge for our generation, let's step up to it. Um, so I think there's a couple of things that um, for the security team and for the security professionals, even just the general public to take away, your point is, well, it is scary. It, it is getting scarier and it's harder. <laughs> Um, but we shouldn't be scared in terms of, because to us, those are opportunities, mm -hmm. right? Um, I think the takeaway for me is the adversaries have come a long way. The technology has come a long way and we just need to close the gap because we're still sort of behind because they're innovating faster than us and we need to get better at delivering better intelligence and counterintelligence and things. I think ultimately, what he's telling us is, we got to rise to the challenge, we got to think about this systematically. Remember his nice confluence of the architecture? Mm -hmm. And I was very uh, proud that he basically put what we do at the center of that architecture, how we can gather all the information, how we can congregate and and really distill it at a higher level and then send it out so more actions can be taken. So I thought that was very aspiring and, and very sort of forward looking as well. Um, so the takeaway I think for us is let's understand the challenge, let's rise to the challenge and uh, we have a good way and ecosystem and technology to do that together. And we certainly love to be front and center and leading that foray for us. We're getting the hook. I can't believe we're getting the hook. We could have you on all day. Watch, watch the security keynote. It, the, the, watch it to the end. I'm not going to spoil it for you, but it was it was very powerful. I want to talk more about the reality of, of guys like we had on before that to actually implement this, but, but we got to go. Thank you so much for stopping by. We look forward to seeing you next year. If not sooner, maybe we'll sneak you in front of their segment. So I'm Jeff Frick. We're at theCUBE. We're getting the hook. We'll be right back with our next uh, guest after this short break.